man, I ain't got nothing to hide. That's why, man, for God, man, I, otherwise it would have been like, man, if I thought I needed an attorney, I would have been like, look, I need a lawyer. You yeah. know what I mean? But I know I haven't done anything. Yeah. Yeah, it was all right. It was okay. Good deal. You know, they have, man, you know, it's 
Yeah. yeah. Tell me about your relationship with not April that hates you, but uh, the other April. The other April. Yeah. Anna Anna Thalia. Anna. I can't say it. Anna Thea. Anna Thea. Anna Thea. Yeah. Do you know her? Oh, Anna Thea. You don't know her? No. All right. Anna Thea. Yeah. Goes by April. Uh, I don't know anybody named Anna Thea. Okay. Um, no, that girl's name is Amber. I don't think I know who you're talking about, man. Her right. name did. Yeah. I don't think I know who you're talking about there. Because, man, the only April I really know, man, is freaking one and then one the other one. Gotcha. So. Can you remember who you talked to on Friday on the phone at all? Who you text? Facebook Messenger? Close, man. I mean, I'm, all, I'm on Facebook a lot, man. Freaking show. Yeah. Who I text, man. You know, I don't text very much, man. Freaking so, man. Freaking that. Uh, I don't do very much. But, man, Facebook, man. I'm on Facebook all the time. Freaking time, man. Freaking. You know, I, I don't know, man. My boy got me hooked on memes, man. Freaking. Now all I do is check memes on Facebook, so. Gotcha. Well, but, yeah, man. Freaking. And you use Facebook Messenger a lot. Well, I, I do use Facebook Messenger quite a bit. I mean, I do. Man, Tom, I know, sent me some stuff, man, for again, but he's over in Puerto Rico right now, man, for again. He's trying to help out the relief efforts over there. So, oh, okay. Okay. so okay. he's been kind of keeping me up on what's going on over there. But, um, I don't think it, man, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I said, I don't even really use even Facebook Messenger that much, man, for again. I mean, I. I get man some man, messages here and there from friends and stuff like that. Yeah. You know. But other than that, man, freaking now, mostly it's man, freaking just me talking shit and memes and man talking shit online. Right. You know, but that's about it. All right. Yeah. Uh, when you say you don't get scared or anything, your phone is being taken at the house. So if it's not that many, get back. We'll get it back to you as soon as we can. Okay, cool. All right. Cool, because man, freaking. <laughs> I need it. I mean, I'm trying to go back to work too, man. I need to make some money, so. You know. So the best you can remember, Friday night, you were in the whole night drinking, except for a short time when you went to Tom's office to get cigarettes. Pretty much. That's uh, that's pretty much, man. And Rory was in the house the whole time with you. Um. Well, that I, man, like I said, I don't know, man. From when I woke up to go get cigarettes, he wasn't there. He was not there. No, he was. You know, he, I was assuming he was downstairs. You know, with his old lady. You know? And when he went downstairs, did you see him? Oh, uh, well, no, because, man, for, I mean, his apartment, man, is freaking totally separate. You know what I'm saying? So, man, for, again, his apartment, man, for, again, you know, you can't even get to it unless you go through the storage room, you know what I'm right. saying? Or you go around the back, you know? But, uh, I mean, I just met, man, me and Travis just went down, man, for, again, picked up cigarettes, came right back, man, for, again, like I said, I went and passed out after that. You, know, so. you can't remember what time it was that you got the cigarettes? No, I can't, man, offhand. I really can't, you know? But, I mean, you know. Yeah, like I said, I know it was dark. I know it was after dark. I know it was after dark, and man, freaking, it had to be. Uh, man, oh, uh, I don't know, man, freaking. I couldn't tell you, man. I really couldn't tell you. You know, I know it was man, freaking. I know I woke up, man, freaking. I was out of cigarettes, freaking. Travis was still awake. Big Scott was man, freaking, asleep. So it had to be fairly, man, freaking, fairly late. I don't know, you know. Could you? Tell you what, do me a favor, because I'm going to step back. i got to make a phone call real quick, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you keep thinking about Friday night and think about yeah. any possibility or any time that you and Rory left the house together. Just try to think about that. Thank you. 
This is a crime circus presentation. Oh, thank you. You want something in my bottle of water? No, um... Uh, I have water or Gatorade, that's all we got here. I'll take a, I'll take a water, thank okay. you. Okay. Oh, you want to do something if that's all right, all right? Mm-hmm. I would like to get your permission to search upstairs as well, real quick. Just the area that you're at. Mm-hmm. Um, that might get this whole thing cleared up, you know what yeah, I mean? no problem. Awesome. All this is is that's obviously the address to there. Mm -hmm. That's the upstairs. This just says that we have permission to search. Yeah, and man, we're gonna you may want to get Travis's man permission too. Cool, he's there right now, right? I think. Um, I don't know if he is or not, but man, you can definitely search the room I've been staying in, man. For I'll give you more permission to stuff my hand. You can search my stuff all you want. All right, I'm gonna read it to you real quick, just so you know. All right, before mm -hmm. any search is made, you must understand your rights. You may refuse to consent to the search and may demand that the search warrant be obtained prior to any search of the premises described below. Right. If the consent, if you consent to a search, anything of evidentiary value in the course of the search can and will be introduced into evidence. Of course. Yeah, right. I have read the above statements of my rights. I am fully aware of said rights. I hereby consent to a search without a warrant by officers of the Monroe County Sheriff's Office being us. Mm -hmm. Um, the premise is 6475 2nd Street, the upstairs. Upstairs, and then, yeah. And then you talk about Travis. Yeah. Because, right. right. man, I, I, I don't want to give permission to search his stuff just because, man. Wait, man, I don't want you to do that. Yeah, because I, I don't really have the right to do that, I don't think. Will you sign your name right here and then print it right next to it? Yep. Awesome. And you guys going to take me home? What's that? We want to eat your pizza and I want to talk to you a little bit more and then okay. I'll Okay, because, man. Man, I mean, you just you're in last place, and man, freaking, I mean, nobody expected that. 
No, it was supposed to. I mean, quite honestly, it was supposed to be between us and Dallas. It was supposed to be. It was supposed to be. And now both of our teams are. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No, I mean, and I'm not a Beckham fan. I mean, he's got talent, but on every given play, right? He, he's either slacking or I've seen him drop balls that are easy. He'll make him, you know, that catch like he made against mm-hmm. Dallas that one game that made him famous. Right. And then you'll see one land right in his hand. And, and he just drops it, yeah. yeah. He can't do that. That's yeah. not the way it works. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, like I said, man, at least you're not a Dallas fan because, man, I can live with the Giants. Yeah. You know, one of my best friends in the world is a Redskins fan. So yeah, I can live with the Redskins. I can live with the Redskins. You know, I mean, we have the hardest division in football as it is anyway. You year in, year out. Yeah, exactly. You know, the Eagles are the only ones, man, missing it right now. We want ours. <laughs> I thought you were going to get it back with uh, what's McNabb. Uh, I did too. I thought I did too, man. I thought we had the Patriots in that game, but man, yeah. freaking nope. That wasn't you know, was That enough. was a coming out party for uh, what's his name, wasn't it? Um, Brady. Oh yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, I think I was man. I think that was the first year he did really good. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, that's when he so. came in because uh, Bledsoe blew out his knee. Yeah, well, I remember he was a backup to Bledsoe. Yeah. You know, although if you want to go that way, man, Kurt Warner is the way to go. Man, talk about a Cinderella story. Oh, no uh, kidding. Yeah. Now you know where Bledsoe came from. He's from the mountain regions up in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, man, I want to spend, 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 spend some time up in there too, man. Bringing White Haven up, man. Used to be a Whitewater guy on Lehigh. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, my job. Yeah, he used to uh, do lift attendant, man, at Jack Frost and. You know, work man for him during the you know, during the spring and the fall and the summer working uh, working the whitewater guys. But then there's a dude Jack Frost man is a lift attendant. And that's uh, pretty cool. Cheap skiing. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah. I used to have you ever heard of Round Top? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I used yeah. to ski there all the time. And then uh, it's Sister Mountain, Liberty. Yep. No. Nope. Used to go there. Yeah. Well, that ain't nothing compared to when you start going out west, man. No, you know, no. Uh, uh, and even uh, like Vermont, uh, Vermont. I mean, Vermont's I've like done Killington. Stowe, up Stowe, Killington. I've done man, Whiteface up in New York. Yeah. You know, Holiday like, Mountain up in New York is yeah. really great. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but it still it ain't nothing like man. Out west, man, freaking, you know, you just never get powder like that on these kids. Never man, will, man, freaking, you know that stuff, man. They just got beautiful powder, man, freaking. I mean, you know, like Alpha and Snowbird, and, you know, Utah, and Colorado, yeah. and that place, man, you know, Ridge. Uh, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Kayaking, I was more of man. I didn't like, man, big water as much. I like tight technical stuff. I like to, uh, like, the golly and the freaking. See, that's where you know, my buddy took me there, tried yeah. to teach me how to kayak. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, they got some class fives and everything else. Oh, yeah. That's no joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Upper Yacht is a good one, too. Upper Yacht Game, Tiger. I mean, I've done that river. Done the new. Yeah. Uh, freaking, yeah. I mean, I've done all those rivers. Banana man. Hill. Banana Hill is not that great. No, Banana yeah. Hill is not that great, man. For again, I mean, it's kind of weak. Yeah, it's kind of weak. But, man, the Golly Man's got some good stuff, man. For again, yeah, you you got the upper and lower Golly Man. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, you can do, man. You can have some fun on the Golly. Yeah. You know? But, yeah, man, for again, I, and I haven't got much white water in a little while, man. For again, I've actually been trying to get down, man, for again, do some of the white water down some of the islands down that way. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, was it, I think the DR has it. I know Cuba does. For again, I think Jamaica has a couple of rivers too, you know. But man, if we can start, you know, start going to some of the other islands that actually have rivers, you know, check Jamaica out. Jamaica has a nice one. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, I would love to get back to doing that. Because, man, uh, Key West is cool, but it's just, it's flat. Yeah. Okay, man, flat water paddling sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. Now, do you ever go out to like the Outer Banks or anything like that and do uh, the wave? Oh, no, 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 no. I, man, don't get me wrong, I've taken man kayaks down to the ocean. Cause they should big in squirt boat, and I don't know if you okay. know, know what that is. It's kind of like freestyle kayaking. Okay. Right? Gotcha. So, man, for again, uh, you know, like, man, like, pillow rock on the golly, right, man, where yeah. can go up and splat the rock, yeah, man, for again. I don't agree, you know, go for a glove I could rock. not do that, but my yeah. buddy could do that all yeah. day long. Yeah, but, uh, I was big into that stuff, and, man, for again, you can, you can have fun, man, on the ocean. The only thing is, is you gotta be, you gotta be a little careful. Because, man, for again, if you don't remember to carve sideways, but, man, for again, eventually it's gonna dig the nose in, and you're gonna end up getting smashed. Yeah. It's not gonna feel good. Then I got smashed up against a boardwalk pile on once too. And freaking wave brought me in, man, freaking I saw it coming just threw the paddle and hugged it, man, bam. You know? That is what it is. 
uh, basically big in the surfing on the Outer Banks. Yeah. And, uh, came in right before the one hurricane in Wilmington, North Carolina by Kay Fisher. Right. And a Fort Fisher. And uh, I dropped down and there was a stupid telephone pole in the water right after. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll get you. That'll get you. Yeah, man, if I can. The only time I've ever actually been on a surfboard, I actually took a couple of guys from Body Glove, man, that were sponsored by Body Glove. Yeah. Took them down the river. Because uh, right. they had never surfed, man, river waves, man. So, man, freaking, we took down like six boards, and, man, none of them made it back, man. They all came back in pieces. Oh, yeah. yeah. No way. Right. But they had a blast, man. They had a blast because, man, I mean, it is a never-ending wave, you know. I mean, yep. You can get out there, man. Yeah, because guys do the boogie boards on it all the time. Yep. Yeah, well, man, we surf kayaks on them all the time, man. It's just, man, for a game. Yeah. It's a little bit different, man, because it doesn't go anywhere. It stays there the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like that, you definitely like not so much. I mean, there's a couple places down here you can go to Jupiter, Samaria, Sebastian, and get some long ways. But yeah. so that kayak and you like surfing. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure I would. I don't know. I'm getting a little bit older these days, man. I mean, my body can't take the right to no, things it used to. So. I said I was gonna get into kite surfing. I still haven't done that. I've been, I've been so looking at that. Every time I go to the beach, man, for a I'm like, that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, that looks like something. That looks like something. I mean, they're getting like, 15 to 20 feet in. I know. They wrong. pull when they pull up. It's like, yeah, that looks like fun. I, I think I can handle that. You know? Yeah. Um, a bit long. I don't know, but man, I'll get out there eventually, man. Get on it. You know, for a I heard that. Uh, like, I heard it's hard to do without lessons, which I, I watched me like, man, it's not bad. It doesn't look that like, hard. I think you can pick it up anyway. Yeah, yeah exactly. It doesn't look that hard. You know, it's no different than parasailing, really, other yep. than you have a little more control, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. You know what they really need to try that with? What? Snowboards. Uh, kind of. It'd be interesting. I'm thinking you. Because I used to snowboard too, man. For a candy man, you know, snowboarding the the biggest downfall of snowboarding is man flat spots. Anytime you have a flat spot, man, it sucks. Yeah, you because you got to man to take off your binding and man for a game, You know, you normally end up walking with the board. You know, because man, it's kind of hard to freaking yeah, do it with one, one foot, foot. Man, one foot one way, you know, and then try <laughs> to go the other way. One foot waddle. Yeah, so man for a game, You know, so I mean, it'd be kind of cool for that, but man for a game, but I don't know, man, if we're going to have it pull me down the mountain. I don't know about that. You can go up the mountain, though, easy. You, might, you could try going up. It might be kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it might be the all right. problem is... I always wanted to try out. They had these things called sled dogs. Not like, not like, you know, like, well, like Alaskan sled dogs. Like, yeah. man, they were like more like rollerblade skis. Okay. And man, freaking that way, man, when you hit the flat stretches, you can skate just like you can, man, with like skate. Uh, I gotcha. Man, you can go flying off the edge of the mountain, man, for a game before you even hit the edge, man. You get, get, you know, get some speed. I don't know. I've never tried them, man, but they looked interesting. I definitely wouldn't mind it. But yeah, man, for a game. Uh, I used to love all that stuff. You know, I, mean, I still do. I mean, like kayaking. My son, man, he's doing good. He's, man, he's finally learned his role. He's getting good. How old did you say he was? Fifteen. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, man, he's finally he's starting to get over the fear a little bit. You know. Yeah. So, so he's doing good with it. Man, I told him, man, freaking once he gets down here, man, we'll really have to go down there and check out some of the rivers. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't need any of these islands down here. You gonna take the boat out and do it, or how are you gonna get down? You gonna boat? Yeah. Take the boat down and do it. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Because, man, for a game, you know, I want to make a sailor out of him, too. <laughs> I think he'll like it, man, for a game. You know, he's been living out there in the desert, man, his whole life, man, for a game. Yeah. So, you know, I need to get him out on the ocean and get him out, you know, get him out on the water. I do like, you know, especially like New Mexico and Arizona, yeah. last two. Yeah. I like New Mexico more than I like Arizona. Same here. But Arizona, man, Arizona's okay. I mean, actually, probably the prettiest desert out there is Utah. You know, Utah, man, as a state, kind of funky. You know, they're they're definitely like their own country, but <laughs> but man, for game. But the deserts out there, like Bryce and all that, you know, and, and uh, Moab and all that stuff. Yeah, man, they've got some beautiful spots out there. No, that's very you true. Know? So I mean, it's kind of I don't know, just a little give a little take because it, it is kind of funky there too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's definitely it's definitely not like any place else. Say like the Native American tribes in New Mexico, you yeah. know, yes, they're more than you do pretty much anywhere else, Arizona or... Arizona and New Mexico probably are the biggest. Yeah. 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 But, you know, but man, I'll tell you what, Albuquerque is one of the nastiest cities I've ever been in. Yeah, I haven't spent time there at all, I 
Oh uh, man, freaking! I mean, downtown Albuquerque is not too bad, but man, when you start going on the outskirts out there, was it was up by the uh, what can I say? It's the racetrack is the casino or whatever they got out there. You get around that neighborhood, man. It's the only time I've ever seen a cop stationed at a McDonald's twenty four seven. They literally had a station for the police, man, at the McDonald's. Like, man, that's pretty. And I was like, man, I've been in some hardcore neighborhoods. I'm like, man, that's that's pretty bad, <laughs> you know. You don't really see that shit too much. Yeah, no so. joke. Now, Charlotte, I have to say, we had the, she had several duty gigs at gas stations and and a couple of fast food joints hanging out there. Yeah. This is a home circus presentation. That is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are we waiting on at this point? Um, let me finish up the house and then okay. be done. But okay. it shouldn't take long at all. Yeah. Um, let me back to do Friday night one more time just so I know I've got everything. Um, let's see, Friday, uh, so like I told you, man. Start, start, actually, do me a favor, start Friday morning. Friday morning? Yeah, and let me, you know, just uh, to make sure I do it, will you give me your full name and date of birth, please? Franklin Tyrone Tucker, August 12th, 1971. You swear in front of everything you're about to tell me is true and accurate. Yes, sir. All right, perfect. All right. And then uh, Friday morning, let's see. Friday morning, man, freaking didn't do too much, man, freaking until started getting towards the afternoon. But we started drinking, man, freaking in the afternoon. I know that. Um, hey, you know what? Hold, hold that thought for a minute, all right? I'm going to do one other thing. Uh, I'm going to do your rights. Uh, okay. You're not under arrest. I can do a proper investigation. Okay. Give me one second. All right, I just got to put Staying in town for Thanksgiving? Yep. I have no plans on going anywhere. Yeah, me too. All right. Before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can, anything you say, can be used against you in the court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask any we ask you any questions and to have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford afford a lawyer, we will be appointed to you at no cost before any questions if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will you will still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. We've also proven that I am not very good at reading upside down. If you'd sign it in print next to it. 
So who's your favorite Eagles player of all time? Reggie White. Um, I have his rookie card. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a Packer, he was an Eagle. <laughs> I, would, I would have to disagree. <laughs> Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham was a hell of an eagle, no doubt about it. He was definitely a hell of a quarterback. You know, and unfortunately, Buddy Ryan, man, used him the wrong way. Yeah. You know. ended up getting his leg. I don't remember where he got his leg We've had a bunch of good ones. Yeah. And Herschel Walker? Yeah. Yeah. You know, his body, body fat was at 3% his I entire career. 3% body fat. I didn't believe that. That guy was a hoss. Hey, man, for as much of a prick as he ended up being, I love Terrell Owens. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, he was a prick. I'm not he's, a, he's, he's a prick, man, but man, for good. But then, you know, he was a talented prick. Yeah, he's <laughs> you know? a very talented uh, it's down the break. Yeah. No doubt about it. All right, sorry, I got off topic. No, we're talking okay. about football. No, I hear you, man. Yeah. Tis the season. Yeah, exactly. Almost in the playoff time now. But, uh, no, man, freaking, I did, man, I was trying to think, man, when I was down in the patrol car, I was sitting there trying to think, man, because you kept on telling me, man, freaking, I, I took a walk with Roy that night. And I was like, I really, I'm like sitting there, because I, I remember, I never, I, for some reason in my brain, every time I said take a water with Roy, man, I remember going to the Metro PCS with him, man, freaking, I know we did that during the daytime. Okay. But, man, freaking, but then, man, I had, man, like, man, I did have, like, man, freaking, kind of, like, man, a vague memory of, man, walking through the neighborhood, and, man, yeah. and I had a vague memory, man, freaking, of, like, man, the CVS, uh, the, the drive-thru. Oh, okay. The drive through, yeah. getting through the drive through or something like that, man. Right. Okay. So I kind of, man, freaking. Like were you I going said, to CVS to get beer, maybe? No, 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 no. Uh, we didn't go in the store, man. Oh, right. Okay. Like I said, we were just, just going drive through. We were just going through it, man, for a walk around the neighborhood or something like that, man. Right. Because you know, sometimes when he gets, man, him and Abel will start going at it, man. He'll be like, man, hey, man, you want to go for a walk? And I'll smoke a cigarette. All right, cool. But man, for again, but I don't really remember. Like I said, I was already lit by that point. So man, for again, I got you know, But I have a. It's like, I don't really remember most of the walk, but I remember going through the drive through man, for coming down to that drive through that they have for yeah. the, but I can remember going through the drive through and I just don't, I don't remember, man, much else. I just, you know, but I do. See, were you guys in a car or on foot going through? Like, just that little walking through Just there. walking through that. Yeah. We walked through there. I'm pretty, uh, yeah. I, I pretty, you know, I, I remember walking through there. And just you and Rory walking through there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was just us, man, freaking, you know, but man, freaking, I seem to remember walking through there, man. Like I said, I was like, I, like I said, I was lit now, you know? so my, I mean, it may be sketchy. Right. It may not be that, and man, I'll, I'm trying to remember like it was that day, but man, freaking, it may not be that day either, you know what I'm saying? I just remember, man, freaking, I don't know, like I said, I have this vague memory of walking through, I did, the drive through is what sticks in my head, man. I got you. So, man, freaking, anyway, but man, freaking, uh, like I said, you now I was already kind of lit, man. For against some effort, and do me a favor. Let's start a Friday morning. Just take it through it. Okay, Friday morning, man. For again, if I remember right, it was no big deal. Um, except for man, for again, we were trying to secure the house, man. For again, because man, like I told you, it got robbed. Then man, we went out, and got beer, man, and started drinking. Then man, for again, Travis brought some Fireball. Next thing, man, we're gonna drink Fireball. And what kind do you think? So. Cured your stuff in the morning. Beer started early. I, I got it, man. man. It, started, it started pretty early. Because um, these boys, man, freaking, I know, man, freaking, you know, when they, when they don't have to work, they, man, they start pretty early. Which boys are you talking about? Travis and. Roy? Travis and, man, no, Travis and, uh, freaking, uh, Big Scott. Okay. Because, man, you know, really, man, Roy doesn't come up the stairs very much, man. He comes gotcha. upstairs every once in a while. You know, but man, freaking, but Big Scott, man, freaking, yeah, he likes to drink first thing in the morning. So, and Travis, Travis stuff, man, you know, I've been, you know, burglarized and vandalized and all that yeah. other stuff. So, I think that was part of it. What did Travis go to jail for? Um, He went for a, well, a weed pipe. Uh, oh, that's right. And, yeah, yeah. He had, yeah. Oh, dude, it was the stupidest thing ever, man, for Like I said, I wasn't there when it happened. But yeah. Man, from what I heard, it was just, they, 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 they were just stupid, man. They were just being stupid. You know, because they came in for a, they had a warrant for two people who were staying there, right? This uh, chick, Martin, uh, it was 
Martin and man, his his girlfriend, I think it was named Valerie or I think it was it was their name. Okay. But man, freaking, but they very rarely ever came out, you know, came out of the room or anything like that. So man, which explains why I consider man, you know, when when they went to jail, man, freaking, she had like three outstanding warrants, and then he had one of them or something like that. But man, freaking, so they came in for that. Yeah. But then they were man sitting around smoking some weed, and man, freaking, you know, freaking. Detroit and Dave so they decided to get stupid, man. For again, we started running his mouth. So man, they took a Detroit, uh, Rory, Detroit. No, Detroit, man. For again, it's in jail. Dave, Detroit. Dave, Detroit. You know, I don't know where man for gonna get Detroit, man. For Rory, man. For again, I mean, I think I've heard somebody call it to him once, man, over a fucking Burger King. My April told us, I guess that's what she calls it. It's Detroit. Oh, uh, uh, maybe that. That may be between them. Okay. You know, I mean, cause man, shit. Like I said, man, April and I. Yeah, she, yeah, I, I picked up on the fact that she doesn't care for you very much. No, she, uh, she does not like me, you know, she, she does not like me very much, you know, which is, it's okay, man, for, not everybody has to like me, but man, it also makes me, that's why, man, for, that's one of the reasons, you know, Roy and I didn't get to be better friends, is because, man, for, you know, I, I can't hang out around her, right. you know, I just can't, man, for, you know, she, uh, she definitely, man, for pain. She gets loud and, you know, she has a temper. And, you know, they've had the cops out there quite a few times, man, over domestics and stuff like that, man. I, just, yeah. I, mean, I, just, I don't have any patience for it. I just don't. You know, I just, you know, I, you know, I like my life nice and simple and easy. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. like, man, freaking complications and I don't like negativity and I don't like, you know, I definitely don't like uh, arguing. And, you know, that kind of stuff, man. So, I got you. Um, I mean, I tell there was one night, man, they had the cops come out there three times in one night. I was like, man, Jesus Christ. And this is when I was standing right after the storm. Uh, I mean, some effort, and I was staying with them up until then. And that's when I decided to leave. This is where I think it's the very next day I decided to leave. I was like, man, I can't do it this, man. So, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. But, man, right. I can, but I'm going back to cops. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, but... Yeah, she don't like me very much. But, um, but she's also, from what man he tells me, man, she's like, uh, was it bipolar? And man, she got some other thing, man. Freaking, she's on medication for. Man, well, that's pretty serious. Yeah. Well, and that man, she's nine months pregnant to boot, man. So man, I'm yeah. sure that don't make it any easier. I don't know. But I'm not sure that. I know when she starts going off, man, the whole damn neighborhood hears it. How long did you say you've been staying at the warehouse? Um, well, it's been off and on, you know, because, like, I stayed there during the storm, right? You wrote it out there? Yeah, I wrote did it out. Really? I wrote it out, man, for in, in, in Roy's house, right? For a man, he has that other room there. And, man, I On the bottom? Or did you guys go to the bottom? Oh, no, on the bottom. On the bottom. Because, yeah, man, for that building, man, for is actually pretty solid, you know what I mean? See, the only thing I was worried about, which was, was the roof. roof. Yeah, you know, but flooding. that's when uh, CJ and Michelle were living there, and they had the, the room that I'm standing in now. And then, uh, but some of their stuff is still in there. So when you guys do your search, just understand, man, forget some of that stuff still belongs to that. Okay. You know, um, but man, freaking, you know, again, like I said, most of my shit's man, freaking, in one bag, man, freaking. Other than the laptop, I was sitting there watching, man, when you all came in. <laughs> but uh, now, whatever. But uh, most of my shit's like right there. Um, but anyway, so CJ and Michelle were there. Um, they rode the storm out there. Um, what else rode the storm out? Oh, Detroit Dave rode the storm out there. This is a crime circus presentation. I don't want to say somebody else was there. Oh. Did Rory and his girl? Huh? Yeah, Rory, they, yeah, they both rode the storm out too. Yeah, they rode the storm out. Gotcha. And then... Uh, that was, I was working right up until now, freaking right up until the wind started blowing, because I was putting up uh, storm shutters and all that other stuff. And then, man, hell, I was working again like two days after, man, after, man, it stopped blowing. Yeah. Man, you know, there was just, man, people needed tarps up on the roofs and, man, freaking demo. I mean, I mean, every cleanup started immediately. Yeah. You know, although some of it, man, I mean, it was pretty harsh, man, up there in Big Pond, it's pretty harsh. You know, and, uh, there's this one little old lady, man, she was trapped up on the second floor. Again, and man, we brought her food and water and stuff.
stuff like that because, man, you know, she, the, the storm surge had wiped out the bottom and man piled up a bunch of shit up against her door. But then the t- she had like a balcony door that went down, but man, that had gotten blown off and part of the roof had been blown off. This lady's little lady's like 80 years old or something up there by herself. And I'm like, man, I'm like, that's crazy. She must have been scared out of her, you know, out of her mind. So anyway, man, freaking, we cleared the path, man, freaking got, man, got, you know, got some food and water up to her, man, yep. got her supplies, but she wouldn't come down, she was scared of shit to come down. Really? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, at Big Pine was a trip. There was one man yard, we found an airplane cockpit in somebody's backyard. In Big Pine? In Big Pine. Like, man, where the hell did that come from? I mean, you know, I think the closest air put in that way was, I think there's a small one in Sugarloaf. Yeah, I was going to say, you got a small one right up from there that's like yeah. a little homemade one. All right, there. I think there's a small one in Sugarloaf, and then they got one in Marathon, but man, yeah. we're going to blow all the way to Big Pine. I mean, that's, yeah, like, that's pretty good. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. But yeah, you know, it just, I don't know, it reminded me of Andrew. You know, for a because I was here, man, freaking for Andrew, too. I was up in Miami for Andrew. And, uh, man, freaking, you know, you know, Key West got, man, got a little bit of damage. Got, you know, you know, Stock Island took a little bit of damage. But some of those other, uh, Big Pine, man. Big I mean, Pine got, it's got, it got leveled, man. I mean, there's neighborhoods that are just gone. Yeah. You know, just totally gone. And, man, it was just sad seeing the people come back and, you know, they get nothing out and they got nothing. Which I know the feeling. I've had it happen. So, man, I know the feeling. Yeah. But it still sucks to see it happen to somebody else, too. So, man, we're kind of, Oh, yeah. Is what it is. But no hopefully, man, hopefully they'll, man, get their, you know, either get the insurance or they'll get FEMA to help them out or something. Yeah, or a combination you know. of the two. Yeah. Yeah. But, I'll uh, see. I know I've been out here mixed stories about, man, FEMA. Yeah, same here. Uh, well, I've been dealing with them. Well, I mean, I dealt with them too when I was up there, man, because uh, that was one thing, man, because, okay, okay, they had plenty of the blue tarps down here. We were running them up there because, man, nobody had them up there, so we kept on dropping them off to all the supply stations. Yeah. And that's how I ended up dealing, man, for a can blue tarp and roofs for people up there. Yeah, you because know, they didn't want to wait on the penal list, and, man, they paid me to do it. You know? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, how much did they pay you? Depending on the roof, man, for a can. Um, but, yeah, it depended on the roof. So I was getting paid pretty much by the job, but man, you know, but I'm telling you, man, that stuff is, it, it's kind of crazy work, you know, because, man, you got to climb up, man, for a game, you know, you're three, four stories up, man, you're walking on something, you know it's broken, you know, and then some of, I mean, one of the worst ones I actually did was with Roy, for a game, we did this one that was, man, there was only a quarter of the roof left, you know, three quarters of the roof was gone. Uh, I almost fell through that one, actually. For the car actually saved my butt. Okay. But, yeah. But, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, but man, it's getting there. 
I'm sure you guys have seen it happen before down here, man. I know I have, you know. But, you know, this guy, man, I mean, not only did he, you know, he conned the freaking owner, man, freaking, you know, robbed him, man, but he also robbed all the tenants living there. Now it creates a freaking problem for the owner because the owner's going to have to go, man, freaking evict him and all that other stuff. Yeah. I was telling him, I was like, man, you know, you guys should just call the owner. You know, call the owner, man, and try and work out a deal with him. You know, because, man, hell, it'll be better for everybody, man. That way, man, he doesn't have to go through the trouble of evicting nobody. And, man, for a can, you guys, man, for a can, don't just get thrown out on the street. You know right. what I'm saying? Because what the guy did wasn't fair to anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you're, you're both, matter of fact, you know, because, uh, what is it, uh, there's a bunch of them that have lawsuits going against them now, man, for a can. I know they got, they got a default judgment the other day. So, man, for a can, I don't know. Man, so everybody's trying to sue the guy, man, for a game. They'll probably never end up paying a dime, you know what I mean? But 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 at least man they give them time to find a new place to man, you know, live before they gotta move. Yep. And man, you know, make it a little easier, you know, make it easier on the owner, make it easier on them. You know. Cause man, the owner probably doesn't even know the situation. I don't know if he does or not. You know. But but I know he I know he didn't think that, man, that the guy was running it out to other people. Right. Because it was right in his lease. I saw a copy of his lease, man, and I said he couldn't do that, man. You can't sublet it or anything like that. I got you. Yeah. Right. Hey. Um, what else you got? So let's go back to Friday night. We'll just stick on the Friday night. All right. So, still daylight. Mm -hmm. Rory gets back. You guys have a couple beers. Mm hmm. You you leave, stroll the neighborhood. It's dark at that point. I guess, because uh, like I said, man, I don't really remember. Like I, I like I said, I remember vaguely. I remember, man, freaking. I, I just remember the CVS. I remember that CVS drive-through. That's what I remember. Here's what yeah. here's what we got camera wise. Right. Eight eleven. Mm -hmm. You're walking towards like the CVS Laurel Avenue. Okay. Mm -hmm. About eight. Was it nineteen? Thereabouts. Very close to 8, maybe a little bit after that. Actually, a little bit after that. Yeah, it was like 8.20-something. Yeah, 8.20-something. You and Rory were pretty much hightailing it back toward your house from that same area. Okay. And so you weren't with Rory on the way up, however you were with Rory on the way back. Well, that's weird. Yeah, I know. Isn't it? That's really weird because, man, I know damn sure I didn't go there by myself. Right. And now, I know that for a fact. You know, because, man, fuck, I have no reason to go over to C A, you know, CBS. Um, but that is weird. Because, man, freaking, like I said. Then we have yeah, a that's... witness at the treehouse mm -hmm. that has a white male mm -hmm. come out that front gate, turn towards the right, take his mask, mm -hmm. and go like that. And high town it down that road. Which way? Back towards, help me out the streets. Uh, Second Street. Where the where? Okay, where cause man, I remember I was telling you I read man for in the paper. I thought man, it was yeah. two, I thought they had two black. Well, I'll be honest, the paper is pretty much way wrong. We okay. just haven't wanted to release. And the paper only gives twenty five percent of what we release right. Okay. Uh, it was one black man, one white man. Okay. Um. I'll be honest, we talked to Rory for quite a while. Fine. All right. Uh. So. You came back and you passed out, is that about right? Pretty much. And yeah. man, remember I told you I went, for, I went I know I woke up and went man, for cigarettes and for again. That was with Travis. Um, I don't remember the time. Did you guys take the truck or on foot? On foot. On foot. On Where on did foot. you and Travis go between four and five but still daylight out in his truck? I didn't go in his truck for between four and five. Matter of fact, man, he ain't supposed to be man. He ain't, supposed, ain't supposed to be driving. Right he ain't supposed to be driving at all, man, in that truck right now. But between four and five, I think it was between four and five minutes. Yeah. 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 Cause man, I can go on, man. I've, I've, I've been very rarely have I ever even been in Travis's truck. Okay. Um, but yeah, man, between four and five, I wouldn't have been in Travis's truck. There's no way. Because man, freaking, there's just no way, man, freaking now. Oh, that I would remember, you know. You um, know what? 
You mind giving us a buccal swab? I almost forgot about that. A what? Buccal swab, just in your mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had that. for organic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys already got my stuff on fire. I know. But this okay. way, yeah. again, this makes me look like I do it now. Okay, no, it's okay. No, but, uh, no, I know for a fact, man, I didn't get in the vehicle that day. Okay. Somebody's um, mistaken, then. Yeah. But, man, for a game, no. Because, man, but, man, for a game, yeah. I know I went, man, got cigarettes with Travis. That we did go on foot. I know for a fact we went on foot. You're just not positive on the time on that? No, I'm not positive on the time. You know? Mm -hmm. And then I remember, man, freaking, like I said, man, freaking, there was all the commotion and everything. I remember, freaking, you know, you know, they were telling me, man, about what was going on, man, with the cops outside. And I was like, man, you know, I looked out the windows, and, man, freaking, I was like, oh, well, man, whatever, man. I was like, man, tell me about it in the morning, man, freaking, man, went back in. And they, you know, I know, I know Big Scott and, man, Travis said they sat out on the front porch. Man, freaking, they were drinking beer on the front porch when the cops came up. Uh, they said that. They said, man, they, they had two cops, they had, they, the cops came twice or something like that. Okay. The come twice. So, I don't know. You know. That I can't really, like I said, I can't really attest to that. I was upstairs. Gotcha. So, man, freaking, I don't know. Give me this second. If I can, we can do this. Excellent. Aren't you going to do it if it's all right? This is rubbing on his side of my arm. Yeah. It ain't my dad. I've had a few of these. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm African. I was being accused of murder of some African. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's a pretty big deal. Not a little one. No. Like I said. Uh, let's see what you got to say, man, if I can, when she gets back in here, man, if I can, uh, I can't wait to hear it, because, man, that's, uh, that got me all nervous, I'm like, man, if I can, man, shit, because, man, that ain't cool, that ain't cool at all. He's got a wife and a kid, he's got to do what he's got to do. Oh, no, I hear you. No, but man, that's what that's why I don't get it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's what I'm not getting in the first place. You know, if you got a wife and kid, man, he goes to work, man, for and that's why I don't get it. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm not sure, man, for and I'm not sure why, man, he would do it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and man, for and I have a feeling I know what you're going to tell me, man. I have a feeling, man, you're going to tell me, man, he's going to try and say it was me or some shit like that, man, for him, which, man, uh, that's really going to upset me. You know, because, man, for him, not like I said, I've been nothing but good to those people. Right. Man, for him, and, man, I know for a damn fact I am nothing to do with this shit. You know? Well, we, have, we, have, we do have situations on top of that. Okay. Yeah. Not able to explain. Okay. Ah. Uh, and so that that's we gotta get over that. Um, you know, here's the, here's my take. Why? All right. Something went wrong at the treehouse. Why? Okay. Why? And you know, one person is saying one thing, and I want to get your side. Okay. But fact matter is something went wrong. Why? The way things were supposed to go to the treehouse, a rip. Why? Things went wrong. Well, see, uh, man. Like I said, I don't, man. I really, man. I do not, man. For game know what went down the treehouse. I have no idea what we went down the treehouse. You know what I'm saying? For again, other than what I was told and what I read. I already told you about that. You know, but man, for again, I have no idea, man, for what went down over there. You know, like I said, man, I, you know, I try and stay away from the damn place. I, I really don't like going over there. You know, the last time I was over there was that one time with Hollywood, man, for again, like I said, I don't, I don't remember how long ago it was, and I know it was, I want to say it was pretty strong. I want to say it was pretty strong. You know, but man, that's the last time I've even been over that place. You know? Right. It's a man for a game. Well, here's where again we're having problems because we've got a lot of things. Have you ever counted or looked when you're walking mm -hmm. in the neighborhood how many cameras there are? No, not really. Like even when you're talking about with CPS, yeah. there's a camera right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that man. Those cameras. No, that I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. You know. And you know, they're not they're not crap cameras. No. They're, they're your at night high definition, bringing in color. Right. Right. Craziness. Right. Um. But like I said, man, I know, man, for game. Well, I, explain I, this to me, all right? Okay. You remember getting back to the house? You remember midnight right. at the house? Midnight at the house. Yeah. You were awake. Was I awake? Very midnight? close to midnight. Okay, how 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 you? Because you were downstairs, uh -huh. taking a black hoodie off of you, and you'd already put your pants in a small bag. My pants? Yeah, your pants. You weren't wearing any underwear. You were butt naked from the waist down. What? And you're dead serious. This isn't a lie. This is a crime circus presentation. I'm butt naked, except for a white shirt while you're taking your black hoodie off. It's not me. Yeah. I have a black shirt. It's you. Because I don't, I don't own any white shirts. I, don't no, I think it was a white shirt. I may be wrong with the color of the shirt. I don't know. Don't you're know. taking a black shirt off. Maybe there was no shirt, but you're taking a black shirt off. Uh -huh. You're already taking your pants off. Well, oh, man, I own one pair of pants. I mean, I freaking, you know, they're still in my bag, perfectly man, clean, man, freaking brand, you know, almost brand new. Right. And then, man, freaking, I have a pair of, man, freaking, I have shorts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's, I do have shorts. You always wear your black almost everywhere you go. Oh, uh, my hoodie? Yeah. Only me and freaking when it's cold outside, and it's been cold lately. <laughs> it's been cold lately. You've been wearing it lately. Let's yeah, well, no, no. I had, you know, at night, especially, man, for going to wear it just because it's getting cold. And uh, Halloween masks downstairs actually belongs to you. We're one of the masks. No. I don't own a single freaking mask. Not a single freaking mask. 
don't know where you get that idea from, but man, I don't I don't know a freaking single mask. And uh, um on yesterday, I think it was yesterday, Monday. Okay. I mean, like I said, I can remember walking through the parking lot. I do remember that. Yep. Right? I remember that part. Now, man, freaking, but man, freaking, no, I don't, man, freaking, I know I never went anywhere near the freaking treehouse. You know what I'm saying? Freaking, I, like I said, I don't have a reason to go there. You know, so, man, freaking, I don't go there. You know, and man, freaking, you know. Can you see my problem? I see, no, I see your, you're, I see you're, your you're problem. Telling, you're right there at 8-11. I, I, no, I see your problem. And then I'm also seeing you run away at 8-20-something. I, I say run, I shouldn't say run because you were fast walking with Rory at this point. Back away. No fucking way. Yeah, I mean. No I, fucking way, man. Because, I mean, the thing is, is, man, for, you know, it, 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 there's got to be something off in it then. There's got to be something off in it. Because it's not. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you because, man, I know straight up. I know straight up, man. I was not that man. for. I, I know I didn't do no bullshit, man, over the treehouse. Let's put it that way. I know that much. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and I know I didn't do anything over there. So, man, freaking that part, you know, as far as, man, me being over, man, freaking CBS is part a lot, that's a whole nother deal. It's my captain. Kind of confusing me. I'm so only wrong. I'm, no, I'm, wait, I'm, wait, I'm very wait, confused my damn self. No, wait, wait. For simple things. Why? Your name is Franklin Tucker, and I've heard you call Ty and Tyrone. Right. Tell me how that happened. Middle name. Franklin Tyrone? Franklin Tyrone. So how is it that you picked up Tyrone or Ty? Because, man, everybody, man, just kind of made fun of me when I was a kid. And, man, for Franklin? No, for, for the Tyrone part. I grew up in the ghetto, man, for a up in Philly, and man, for a you know, white kid named Tyrone, they thought it was funny, so. Okay. It is pretty funny. And it stuck. It stuck. So. For all these years? Yep, pretty much. Wow. That's yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. Do most people know how you got the nickname, or they just... No, they just man for you know, they just like, man, they look at me kind of funny, man. You know, that's why I usually say Ty instead of Tyrone. Okay. If I say Tyrone, they usually look at me like, eh. But, you know. But anyway, man, freaking, he's got me all nervous over here, man, thinking about man, freaking, you know. You should, you should, I'm going to make you more nervous. Because I'm, I'm about to piss him off. Because I'm going to reveal pieces of the case that he has in that notebook mm -hmm. that he probably doesn't want me to tell you about, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay because I think it's only fair that you know what you're up against. Right. And the first thing you need to know is I've been doing this job for 35 years. Right. So I've had a lot of people sitting across the table from me right. in a lot of bad uh, situations. I'm sure. Some of them far worse than the situation you're faced with right I'm now. Sure. Some of them far better. Right. But I've had them all. Right. So I've been doing this for a long, long time. Right. What I'm going to tell you is I was raised by a four foot ten grandmother who mm -hmm. had one of the most wicked, evil backhands in the whole entire world. So if you ever cussed, you got the wrath of the backhand. Uh, my grandma, I do it quite a bit. Yeah. So. No, but, but my grandma was also one of the wisest people that I've ever met in my life. Into a marriage that was loveless because it was an arranged marriage. She grew up recognizing that there were good in people. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing she ever said that to me and what I learned and took from her was that there's always two sides to every story, and you should never judge a person based on one version of the story. That no matter how thin you roll the piece of paper, there's two sides to the paper. Right. So I'm going to tell you what I have so far okay. on the side of the story that is not in your favor. Okay. And then give you an opportunity to fill in the gaps, correct any misinformation you think we may have, and tell your side of the story. Because this will be tonight your first, last, and only chance to give us your side of the story right. because beyond here, Ty, you know how it works. Right. Attorneys get involved and then the attorneys tell you not to talk. And, right. and uh, that's why I'm trying to talk to you yep, guys. Yep, yep. So you, I know you're being straight. Well, because, man, that's the thing is, man, I ain't got nothing to hide. That's why, man, freaking I, man, I, otherwise it would have been like, man, if I thought I needed an attorney, I would have been like, look, I need a lawyer. You yep. know what I mean? But I know I haven't done anything. Yep. You know, so anyway, but okay, give, so give, me your, give me your I'm, side. I'm going to let you know a couple of okay. things. Detective Pitcher is absolutely accurate with the timestamp on the video. We have you on video walking on 2nd Street mm -hmm. from where you live mm -hmm. toward Laurel Avenue, which is the road that the treehouse is on, mm -hmm. 8.11 p.m. At 8.15 p.m., 
The first call comes into 911 telling our dispatchers that a guy has been stabbed, he's dead, and he's laying face down in a pool of blood. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. just hear me out. So you have four minutes mm -hmm. from where you're at to where this thing happens. Now the really disconcerting part of all of this is at 819, mm -hmm. four minutes after we have a report of a man being killed, we have you and Rory on video mm -hmm. walking back from the treehouse Toward that can't, that's that's got to be impossible though, because okay, you know, like I said, man, freaking, uh, I wish I had Travis here because man, freaking, again, man, I'd go back and check the Tom Thumb video, okay, because that had to be somewhere around that same time, had to be, you know what I'm saying? Because man, freaking, you know, I remember man, freaking, the whole thing with the police lights and stuff like that was not long after we went and got cigarettes. So man, for a game, man, how can I, you know, how can I be man for getting a Tom Thumb buying cigarettes while I'm supposed to be over there at the CVS? You know what I'm saying? Now I do, you know, like I told him, man, for a game, I have a vague memory of man for a game walking through the, the, the drive through at the CVS. Okay. You know, so man, I may have gone there earlier, man, for a game, I could see that, you know, or man, but I would know I didn't go there later. I know I didn't go there later, but man, for a game, I may have gone there earlier. But man, but I mean, literally check the video, man. Okay. Now, Ty, let me tell you some other things that Detective okay. Picture hasn't shared with you that I'm going to share with you. Okay. That's on our side of the story. Okay. In the walk mm -hmm. from Laurel Avenue on Second Street to where you live, mm -hmm. we found in lot 72 a knife. Okay. Okay. On that knife mm -hmm. is blood, mm -hmm. and on the handle of that blood, mm -hmm. latent DNA. Mm -hmm. That's going to the lab. Yep. Well, it ain't going to be me. Okay. And a little further up the road, in the back of a boat, parked alongside 2nd Street, mm -hmm. is a mask. Not going to be me. And the mask has a very weird, freaky, scary face on it, but it's also made out of foam, and on the front of the mask are three blood smears. Okay. Not going to be me. Okay. And the mask has a really nice elastic band Mm -hmm. that goes around the back of the head and a nice foam pad in the front. Right. It's loaded with DNA. Okay. Okay. Now, all that stuff's going to go to the lab. Cool. Okay. Uh, because, man, I'm confident. I'm confident. Okay. Totally confident. You know. And we have wounds on our victim mm -hmm. that are consistent with the knife that was found in lot 72. Okay. So, what I'm letting you know is that this the story and the details of the story are not not stacking up in your favor. Well, I'm just saying all that stuff that you just told me, test all you want. Okay. You're not going to find anything, man, for him, you know, you know, with my, you know, with, with anything of mine on it. You know, I mean, granted, you know, if a, if a mask came from the house, man, it might have a fingerprint on it, man. Who knows? I may have, man, touched it. Same thing with the knife, man. I may have touched it. But I guarantee you, man, freaking, you ain't got no DNA, man, freaking, mine on the inside of that mask, and there is no man, freaking, you know, I never grabbed a knife and did anything to anybody. Okay. So, man, freaking, I mean, straight up test away, because, man, freaking, I'm confident, man, it'll, it'll exonerate me. That's you know? good. Glad to hear that. You know, so, you know, I mean, the timestamp with the with the video, I mean, like I said, that one, go check, man, go check the one with Tom Thumb. I swear to God, man, for God, you know, I was there with, I know I walked with Travis that night to go get cigarettes. Travis you know? seems to be the alibi of choice. He is, isn't he? That's amazing. I wonder how he's going to keep his story straight. Yeah, it's not. Because he's going to have to alibi with how many people now? Uh, but, man, the thing is, is, man, for real, I mean, you can check the video with Tom Thumb. And Would I you find it odd that both you and Rory are using Travis as your alibi? Not really, because I mean, he lives. And in not the, that you guys are together. No, it's just because he lives in the same house. You know what I'm saying? But you guys are using him, like, well, I was with Travis, not, not Ty, and well, I was with Travis, not. Mine's Mark. easy to prove. So it was his, according yeah. to him. Well, I mean, I mean, again, mine's video. But here's right. where. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but my bet is you are right. right. I am going to find you. Right. At, at Tom Thumb. Right. And I bet Rory's right. I'm going to find him at Tom Thumb. And I bet you one is before and one is after. And that time in between is when the murder happens. I'm going to put money on that.
Uh, well, uh, I can't put money on it because, man, again, I don't know what in time it happened and all that other stuff. But I do know I went with Travis to Town Thumb that night, and I know Manfrick and all that chaos that happened was not long after that. You know what I'm saying? So Manfrick, and it can't be, man, too much time in there. You know, t I mean, I, that's that's the only thing I can tell you about the timestamp. But that other stuff, I like I said, I guarantee you, Manfrick, and you're not going to find anything Manfrick and mine on that. Hi, if you leave here tonight, and that's still debatable, but if you leave here tonight, your mission, your homework assignment, I want you to walk through your neighborhood. Okay. And I'm going to let you know, there's no less than 16 cameras in that neighborhood. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. So, you're, yeah. I mean, you're very obsessed with... Why don't you step out, alright? Alright, Tuck. Right now, you're being charged with witness tampering. Okay. Alright. And right now we're in the process of receiving warrants for murder, robbery, and aggravated Why? battery. What's that? Uh, for everything we talked about last night? Yeah, but I didn't do any of that. What's that? I didn't do any of that. Um, you know, if you're talking about, man, witness tampering, man, man, I ran into Paula today, fucking over at Man McDonald's, is that what you're talking about? I don't have a Miranda card on me. I do. So, oh, do you? Oh, all right, then we'll go. We're, t we're walking anyway. Why I didn't that? know, man, for a guy. I wasn't allowed to say anything to her. She came up and talked Hold to me. Hold on, I can't say anything at the moment. Okay. Hey, can we stop t walking for one second? Because I can't talk and walk at the same time. All right. Before I ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. Mm -hmm. You have the right to remain silent. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. You understand that? Mm -hmm. You have the right to have a lawyer with you during any questions. You understand that? Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questionings, if you wish. You understand that? If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop answering questions any time. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, in this case, it has nothing to do with Paula. Okay. It has to do with April and the conversation that you had with April today. I didn't have a conversation with April today. Okay. Um, be perfectly blunt. She said some things that if you... The only way she would have known to say those things is if she'd had a conversation with you. Well, no, she didn't have a conversation with me. All right, that's fine. I mean, she didn't. I mean, All right. No. And then, uh, as you said we should, we talked to Travis today. And Travis flat out told us that he was the getaway driver and that you and Rory, who he named Detroit, went to the treehouse and committed the robbery and murder. Not lying, man. I can't lie. Otherwise, I'm going to take you to jail. Right. No, I hear you. And last night, Rory told us that you planned the robbery. And here we have a dead iguana. So I guess I should be getting a lawyer. I am not allowed to make any legal advice whatsoever in that right. sense. 1121, you can cancel copper coast. Crazy. Alright. Not much I can do at this point. 7115, reckless driver, south on the 110 mile marker. Three minute time delay, silver passenger car. Watch your step. 7115, District 7, Silver Passenger Car, unknown check, possibly in talks, RP was in front of it, and a black S-150 was unable to maintain lane, Silver Passenger Car, south on the 110-5-minute and I'll be honest, there's a problem with that. Paula said the one that was attacking her, she knows was the issue. The other suspect there, she knows nothing about. No, she told me the man it was a curly-haired white guy. She never saw him. And what she told me. Right, she never saw him. She, she says that came from Todd. However, after talking to Todd, it turns out Todd was much further away. I'm just saying, man, for came. No, absolutely, man. Happy to answer. Because I felt bad for it, man. I thought last night was tight, man. Now it's getting worse in Africa. And yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. It's way worse.
And now we have, we've enhanced our videos, so we are very good there. Yeah, I've got him if you want to put your stuff in. I mean, I didn't do it. Okay. Oh, and also we have more people putting you in sneakers, tennis shoes that are black and gray. I don't have to sneakers that are black and gray. No, except for the ones that were at the house. No. You, no. I know you say they're not yours, and hey. I have, man, there's boots in these shoes, man. That's the only time, man, but that's the only things anybody's ever seen me in. Good. What the heck? You see this? I guess I'm just like... You see how rude he is? He just takes whatever one he wants. I didn't do this. What? Well, I couldn't get the lock. <laughs> so now I have to put mine in there? <laughs> well, I'm going to push in, but I couldn't get the lock. You want? You can use mine. It's a lock. We can share. We can share boxes. See? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we share water and everything. You <laughs> know. <laughs> You know, I haven't slept in a very long time. <laughs> Neither have I. Uh, I believe it. Locks are hard. You'll still be able to sleep here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. What's that? Camouflage? I do believe so. I've got that. Thank Okay, we're across the pathway. It's the second round. You got anything on it? Oh, no. Start pumping to get paid by medical before you get them out of here. Okay. Medical, that one's your battery. Copy. Needs his clothes. Place your hands on the wall while I take the cuff off, okay? May we also get his clothes then? Yeah. Possible DAV, turn stolen vehicle, Kemp Channel Bridge, RP Lansing to me, in a red Cadillac. How do you like being a flush? I have a seat. Yeah, I'll be on the Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, was it 10-10 and a half? Take your shoes off. Yeah. 17 to 15, five, five. I'll take a bracelet for you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ryan. Okay. Yes, please. Um, thank you. I need to sleep. I, I do like warming up to Christmas. Every time you think you're going to get it. Hey, it's almost Thanksgiving now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>